Before I introduce myself, I'll make an observation. Uh, I'm Scottish, but I'm married to a German, which means I have to start on time. <laughs> My name is Mark Blythe, and I am the director of the Rhodes Institute for International Economics and Finance here at Brown University, and I'm one of the sponsors of this event. My partner in crime will introduce himself. My name is Timothy Roberts. I'm a professor at the Institute at Brown for Environment and Society and Sociology Department. You'll be hearing more from him in a moment. By way of introduction, America's climate change future, housing market, stranded assets, and entrenched interests. I'd like to welcome you all here. I'd like to welcome President Patrick, who we'll be hearing from very shortly, the Senator Whitehouse, from his staff, and from everyone who's shown up today, all the panelists, presenters, to discuss this very important topic. A quick little uh, thing about the Road Center. The Road Center exists as an interdisciplinary research uh, institute within the Watson Institute. And interdisciplinarity is one of those words which academics love but seldom practice. Uh, we're, we're determined to overturn that. And the wonderful thing about climate change, if I can say that, because that's the worst phrase ever if you think about it, is that it demands a truly interdisciplinary approach. The scientists have to understand the politics. The political scientists have to understand the science. The sociologists have to understand everything. And this is, this is where we are, and this is the task in front of us. Now, I'm going to take up too much time simply just to say welcome to everyone for coming. I'm going to have um, Chris Parkson talk in a moment. I just want a couple of observations. And until a couple of weeks ago, I thought Polar Vortex was a brand of clothing worn by our undergraduates. Um, apparently, it's not. And uh, I have a brother who lives in New Zealand, and um, they're heating up. Nothing in comparison to what's going on in Australia, which is truly frightening. Um, the way that economists and political scientists I'm kind of half and half, tend to think about climate change, or tended to think about climate change, as we call it an externality. It's something that's produced that's not fully accounted in the behavior itself. I think that's woefully insufficient now. It's no longer something external to us. This is the thing we need to focus on. I'll start now. Thank you. <laughs> 